Hey my rockstar pregnant and postpartum mamas. Today is day one of four weeks of every body. I am 20 weeks pregnant, almost headed into my third trimester. So I wanted to show you a way that you can still incorporate four weeks for every body workout when you're pregnant and going through postpartum. So some alternatives to do instead of the core moves. One thing I'll add is she also uses the ball for a lot of moves. So today, for instance, we put it between our legs and did some squats. And if that bugs your bump, because maybe you're third trimester and you're getting big, specifically the squats were right here. If it's a lot of crowding in here, you're just going to take the ball out and you're going to do some sumo squats instead, okay? So it's okay for us pregnant mamas to go a little bit wider, um, especially if the tummy's in the way. So don't feel like you have to always keep this between the legs. The other one she does is here, bent over with a row and bent over with a fly. So again, if there's a lot going on there, just take the ball out, widen the stance, bend over, fly up, bend over, row up. So I'm gonna show, the three core moves that she does and the alternatives that you can do instead. So the first one she does is she puts the ball behind her back and she does a basic pulling back crunch and comes up nice and tall. Instead of that, she does 10 reps, nice and slow, all eccentric. So I did a side plank. It went here for her first five reps and then I switched it over to here for the second five reps, okay? So side planks can be the perfect way to still work those transverse abdominis. We wanna avoid working internal, okay? Just working on the sides for pregnancy, especially if you have diastasis recti after pregnancy as well. Not really focusing on the crunches, focusing on more, bringing it in, tightening that cage again. Second round, she does a lay back lat pullover which used to be a big no-no in the PT world. And we learned that it's okay actually for pregnant mamas to be on their back. Um, we used to think it was the vena cava that would get pinched and you want to get the oxygen to the brain or to the baby, to you. Um, but so if you're feeling lightheaded when you lay on your back, then you can um, modify this, but I didn't feel anything when I did it. So here's the move. You put the ball between your legs, which is fine. And then straight back, lift the hips up. So that felt totally fine for me. Modify if needed, if you don't prefer to lay on your back. You don't have to, you can also just work on like a lat, you could work on a lat pullover with like a band between your, um, around your wrists and you could pull down, boom, and up, and then pull apart and pull down. You can do that with just body weight too. Feels good and you're gonna work right in here. All right. Second core move that she does in the second round, she lays on her back and she does a dead bug alternating, which looks like this. Boop, out. Great for postpartum mamas. Um, if you're pregnant, however, and you don't want to do that one, one that I really like is just working the transverse abdominis again. So you can do a couple different things. I really like just standing see if I can alternate this a little bit, tilt it back, okay. I really prefer just standing and you can get like a little crunch, boom, and tap. Crunch, boom, and tap. Okay, so you can go side, tap, side. Same with the other side. So she does a total of 10, so once she gets to five, switch sides, tap, really working the side abs here, boom. Boom. Okay. You can also do that side crunch when you're in a side plank. So when she's doing the dead bug, you could be here in side plank. If you want to lift a leg, you absolutely can. Boom. Boom. Okay. So five on one side and then flip and do five on the other. And then last core move, she takes the ball, puts it right behind her and she opens up to the side and brings it up side brings it up postpartum mamas if you're instructed not to do crunches alternate to that and even 
prenatal mamas. Crunches do not feel great. A lot of pressure there. You don't want to rip inside here. Then I'm going to show you standing alternative. <clears throat> I call them wood choppers. Wood choppers, feet pretty wide, front leg out in, well, one leg out in front of the, the other. And then you're just going to rotate, rotate so that you're getting those rotational muscles still working, just like she's doing with the, with the rotational crunch. But you're standing and you're getting even more of that turn. You can also do it, boom, across the body. Again, keep that pelvic floor nice and strong so you can work on, whoo, boom, your kegels here. <laughs> boom, keeping all of this nice and tight, pulling in the belly button as you pivot so you can go low to high, or you can go across. For the reps that she's on the ground doing crunches. All right, have fun, you guys.